everyone. So today I am working in my house and I am assuming that there's other people like me that there's just things that you know you have to get done but you just don't want to do them. And that's kind of been me with um, painting trim. Um, I like to paint when it's you know, I don't know, walls, I guess. I like painting walls. I like doing, you know, the cool patterns and stuff. But trim is, I don't know, to me it's like incredibly boring. And it's just blah. So, um, I think it's been about, I think, three months that I've needed to paint the trim in my foyer. And I just haven't. So, mm -mm, that's my yucky stuff I'm doing this week. So, you know, it's not all that bad. But, um... Yeah, the only, I guess probably the real reason I really want to get this done is because I have a mirror that I want to put in here, um, but I want to paint the trim first, and I've had this mirror probably, it, we're getting close to a year, it's really sad, but yes, I have had this mirror for a long time, and I just want to put it in my foyer at this point, and um, I'm making myself do the trim. So that's that's what I'm doing this week. It's nothing exciting, unfortunately. Well, I don't know. Some people might think trim is exciting, but not me. So let's see. This is I could show you. So basically I've just taped it off and I haven't even taped off around the door. I think I'm gonna leave that for a different day. I'm just baseboards. That's what I'm Oh, in the windowsill. So that's kind of where I am and got my stuff all over the floor. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and I'm going to give this a fresh coat of paint. I had, I don't know if I had shown uh, me making this, but this is actually leftover um, baseboard that I made a shelf out of because it was just drywalled and I thought it kind of needed a little sprucing up so I added a piece of molding here but I have oh I'm going out of focus I don't know if you can see here I had one of those little it's from Bath and Body Works it's called a wallflower and they're things that you plug in and they have oil and it, it sends the house um, yeah we unplugged it and I put it here where you can see here and um, I guess some of the oil leaked out and stripped the paint so now I have to put another coat on that so ooh and I'm very not focused and eventually this will look pretty that will be a different day but the funny thing is there's been a couple people that have commented that they like the way I did my edges it was like um I I, I didn't do anything with edges I just painted because I'm putting wall paper inside this niche so I don't know why people seem to like the edges but I think it's kind of funny so it will not be remaining like that but first things first I need to do the trim so that's what I'm doing okay so I applied my first coat of paint and um, apparently my baseboards in my trim are super dirty because I wasn't going to do the door frames yet, but that's the difference. So I'm going to have to do them now because that just looks nasty. So I guess it's going to get a coat of paint too. I just need to tape everything up and start doing that as well. Okay, so I've completed the painting and I painted the door frame as well. And now everything's nice bright white and I really think it it makes a big difference I didn't think it would make as huge a difference but having that nice crisp white line against the gray I also got to install my IKEA mirror that I've had for almost a year um, and also as well as a vase with the sticks in it which I will be doing something to in an upcoming episode so uh, stay tuned for that and that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I will hopefully be finishing up the foyer sometime soon, but uh, the painting is done and 
and I really like the way it turned out. So, and I think I'm going to just keep the gray door. I think it's grown on me. So that's the foyer for now, and I will see you next time. Bye. So here's the finished product installed, and you can see she started putting her stuff on it, but there's little shelves for she has little nail polishes and little chapsticks and then bracelets and little necklaces.